In a wrongful death case, not only do we have to prove that there was negligence, but that that negligence is what caused the death. So if a person is ill or has some other comorbidities, such as pneumonia or other illnesses, you have to actually prove to the court what caused the death or what was a contributing factor to the death. It's almost impossible to do that unless there is an autopsy. So it's incumbent on the family when they're asked after an after a unexpected uh, sudden death, do you want an autopsy? They need to say, yes, we need to get to the cause of what actually caused and contributed to our loved one's death. Without an autopsy, it might be a good case or it might be a case that was, was caused by negligence, but if you can't prove the link up between the negligence and the death, then there's, there's no case under the law. So if we're contacted early enough, we always advise the loved ones to have that autopsy made and we'll find out what was the true cause of death in this case. The, the biggest fear from family members we visited with is uh, they have this uh, mindset, uh, and, and maybe truthfully so, that an autopsy is not a good thing to do for their deceased. I mean, that's kind of the natural, I don't want to do an autopsy. Uh, the families that we have worked with who, did, who chose to have an autopsy, the, the reason why they're glad they did is because it gives them peace of mind they know what happened to their loved one. Now, oftentimes, it may not have been negligence. It may have been natural causes. But they know from that point forward what caused their, their loved one to pass away. And if it was as a result of negligence, it puts us as their attorneys in a position to do the better justice.